Alright, hi, hello. Um, today we're here with another match um, against Electric um, and their team. Uh, let me see. <laughs> I forget. Pretty sure it's something pretty funny. Oh yeah, okay. Their team, the... I can't believe Carney wrote me into this. Again, maybe? I'd have to check, but... Anyways, um, we have a code in chat. We are... Is that right? No, no, no. <laughs> um, I'll be honest. This is probably the one I'm most stressed for. Um, I'm excited for it in that sense, because... Um, I don't know, I just like playing these matches. They're pretty fun. But... Um, there was a lot of anticipation for this one because there were some issues with getting ready for the match. Um, on time. Obviously, Baltimore Regionals just happened, so uh, my ship was out, which is understandable. Um, but yeah, I'll just be honest, I'm pretty stressed here. <laughs> um, I'll try to take notes when I need to. Usually I'm trying to, obviously, but um, sometimes I miss stuff and then that comes back to bite me, but... Yeah, actually, funnily enough, I was re-watching a previous week and I realized that I saw something that was revealed, but I didn't actually notice it until after the fact, which is really fun to see. <laughs> um, and by the way, I know you saw the itemless crag and all that is intentional. Um, there is no Golurk. Also, none of their months. <laughs> okay, um... I'm just gonna... Okay, that works too. <laughs> I was gonna say, I, I... Just for a second there... <laughs> I thought I missed some major changes. Yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's try that again. I was gonna say, I didn't think they had a rain team. Um, that team did look kind of heat though, I didn't actually get to see it yet. <laughs> um, yeah, that that was very scary, I'm not gonna lie, that kind of gave me a little heart attack there. Because I thought I, I their entire team changed and I, I thought it was over for me because I didn't know that. And I, I could have known, but I just didn't look. And my fault, and I just... Uh, da, 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 da. Anyways, run it back. Okay, never mind. Um, <laughs> okay. We are getting into it here. Um, to be fair, I think some of their mons on their team are scarier than what that other team was. <laughs> Um, because man, Dozo Gary is just a massive monster threat at all times, and I just... me. <laughs> it's kind of scary, but uh, I think we're getting into it right now, here. I, I'm gonna trust in good faith that she's not changing her entire team right now, just when we did that. Because <laughs> obviously, she's on my team, so theoretically speaking. You could change up your team in the like 10 seconds that were in the downtime there to meet whatever demands you needed to, though I, I don't expect that to be the case. I'm not accusing anything here. I just, uh, man. <laughs> I actually am really stressed out about this one. I actually think this is the most stressed I've been going into one. Okay, that's actually not as bad as it could have been. I actually really, really, really appreciate the Mag Mortar not being here. Um, Palma is a threat. Can't deny that. Rotom Frost is also a threat. But man, I'm so glad to not see the... Um, what's it called? Uh, da -da -da. <laughs> I already lost it. I literally forgot what it was already. Um, the Mag Mortar, Jesus Christ. Okay, so that makes it really easy. To lead stuff like Ambipom and Annihilate, but I don't think I want to lead that yet. Because it is kind of awkward into... Uh, what's it called? Uh, Whimsicott, sorry, Jesus. 
We are jacked by Dampom. That could come back to bite me pretty quickly. I won't, won't deny it. But, um... I think I might want to lead, and I just might want to do it. I think it's just for the best. Um, yeah, you know what? We'll do this. Um, I kind of do want the Gullhart counter, now that I'm thinking about it. Um, so if I'm not going to bring anyone... Ooh, crap. Running out of time. You know, let's not think about it too much. Actually, wait, no. Let's think about it more. Jesus, that was kind of close. Okay. I usually don't wait that long. That was kind of stressful. <laughs> we're just going to play it simple. It's game one. You know, I, I can lose one freely, and then we can worry about it later. <laughs> but yeah, one more good luck have fun to Electric. And uh, let's see let's see how this goes here. What do we got? Uh, lead game one makes a big difference. Wimp got Runum. Okay, that's predictable, we can call it, but it's not too bad. Do we want to... Um, Do we just rock or do we even just drain punch here? I feel like that might be not the worst thing in the world. Um, rock slide's okay, drain punch is okay. I might just get burned here is the problem. I don't really want to get burned, I'll be honest with you. Um, to be fair, I think we can kind of get away with it. I might just click fake out here. Yeah, I think I will. Yeah, because once we got, worst case, say, what, attack, and then next turn they set up tailwind, but... I'm gonna fake out here. Yeah, okay. It is, it is set to land, okay, that makes sense. Um, maybe a Will Wisp was the plan, I'm not sure. Uh, I am realizing right now the we're not gonna get the. Uh, what's it called? Jeez, I can't even think of it. The um, beat up, the, the fourth beat up hit. Because we are gonna be clicking Rage Fist this turn here. And if we get burned by the Rotom from a speed, speed drop, or a. Uh, Oh, Will Wisp. Jesus Christ, I'm mixing my words up really badly right now, I'm not gonna lie. Not my best commentary, I'll be real. <laughs> um, we're not gonna do anything crazy here. Okay, that's a big worry I had, I'll be honest. I was considering taunting turn one, um, which would have been the play in retrospect. Ooh. Okay, that hurt. That's actually not the end of the world, actually. We don't hate that. We don't hate that at all, actually. Um, it's a little awkward, I'm not gonna lie, it is, but the, um, the Rotom's coming back. We know that for sure, so I think Rillaboom's a pretty safe switch in here. And they have clicked Volt, volt Switch, um, yeah, that's nice. Interesting to see they were probably gonna Volt Switch turn one as well, I'm not sure what they had in mind there. Um, so we know it's Encore, we know it's Tailwind. Um, obviously Focus Energy doesn't work, um, yeah. Do we just go Napalm again? I feel like we might just do that. I think that's not even that bad. Um, and the Rotom didn't switch because of... Right, okay, you know, I just remembered this. The Rotom did not switch because of the move I used, so yeah, that's pretty interesting. Um, I think we can pretty safely fake out again this turn, actually. We can see if Rotom is maybe, um, Scarf or something. Because if they click nothing... Um, they might just click Blizzard, to be fair. I could see Blizzard. It's pretty realistic, actually. Um, it could be a Moonblast from the... I'm assuming we're the only switch there. Maybe they clicked Volt Switch again. Maybe they had no choice but to click Volt Switch again. Let's just say it's choice specs for now. Until shown otherwise. Okay, they protected the wounds I got, so I'm assuming it's kind of a weird set here. Wow, we were spamming Figo. That's pretty nice that we actually get this thing in for free. Because I was a little worried about that. Um, let's see here. Let's pull up a Rotom Frost real quick. Let's just say it's max HP, that's it. I'm gonna pull up real boom. How much is Grass Clay doing? Like half? Okay, that's actually pretty good. So we can actually just kill this thing here, theoretically speaking. Um, yeah, no, I'm, I'm kind of chill with that. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, they switched. That's theoretically fine, depending on what it is. Um, Gullwork comes in. We don't mind that at all. That's a free glassy glide into it. We can see how much bulk it has, maybe. Might just be max HP. Obviously, we don't do anything there. Go for Encore, that sucks. I don't know, what am I thinking here? I, I am kind of throwing here. <laughs> Man, this is really annoying. This Encore is picking my ears. <laughs> not gonna lie. Very annoying, yeah. Okay, what do we change up here? I don't even know. I might switch into Clef? Wait, no, we can maybe switch into... Um, and I up on this slot, and then we can switch into Clef on this slot. 
Is that what I'm thinking? Because we're encored with this. We're about to get encored with an Ampom as well, so I think we have to do this here. Surely, if they do attack into an Ampom, it's not going to be a ghost move. That's crazy. They have to assume I have Annihilate. Wait. No, no, no. They know I have Annihilate, so it could be a read on their part. No, 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 no. That's fine. I'll, I'll take that risk, I think. I'll take this risk here. I understand if we get punched here. It might be pretty rough, but whatever. What are you going to do about it? They might just Moonblast it or something. That would make sense, too. The Rolum comes back, obviously. I'm not really going to be doing much with it. Yeah, this one scout's being so annoying right now, honestly. And um, we've seen three attacks, or three moves from the one scout, so I'm assuming it's Moonblast for the last one. Um, what are we going to get here is the question. I did Poltergeist into the Cleveland Slot. Okay, Jesus Christ. That was kind of scary. <laughs> They're just under half. That's pretty good, actually. Um, they don't take contact damage, of course, because it's a very funny move. Um, now we're in a pretty awkward spot. I might just click Rage Wrist into the Wimdicott slot, I think. Wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. It's kind of awkward, I guess, but... I might just spam follow me until we go down here. Or do we focus energy now? I think we do that, yeah. Because follow me is going to be priority, obviously. Although, if we go down here, it might be kind of awkward. I guess we can test with their Cover Cloak. Worst case scenario here, we can find out if they're Cover Cloak or not for game two and three. Which is pretty important, actually. Um, Lava Gleam comes out. That's pretty bad, I would say. Will they just get a Poltergeist? Oh, they have some. Okay. That's actually not worry, but. That's not the end of the world either. It means they probably don't have a Fighting Stab, I'm assuming. Or that maybe a Ground Stab, even. I can see both of those, honestly. That really sucks to see that, though. I guess. Like I said before, we can find out if they're actually able or not. Uh, I don't know how I feel about this turn. I don't think it's going to go that well, but we'll see. Do we do we try to call them here and go for an attack with the Annihilate? I think we might. Okay, I'm, I'm going to go for an attack with the Annihilate, but I'm not super happy about it, but I'm going to... Actually, not drink much. Wait, no, not drink much. Sorry. Um, no, which was is right. I'm gonna go for Woodhammer with the Omega Orc. Knowing. Well, hold on. Rescue does a ton. Wait, what? Why does it do so much? Oh, okay. So it just does that much. Okay. I'm gonna go for Grassy Glide then. I mean, I hope I'm not seeing this wrong. It kind of seems like he's just gonna die. Here, I'm not gonna lie. It's Terra. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. <laughs> I knew it was Terra too. That's very silly. I'm assuming Terra Steel. I mean, not that crazy of a read, but yeah, okay. Yeah, that was a throw. That was a hard throw, actually. Because I could have even fake out it if I wanted to call the Terra there. I. Uh, man, that was my fault. That was really my fault there. We did some chip on it, but we're not gonna do that much. And that's why it comes out. It actually does a good amount, all things considered. Older guys comes out. Did they miss? No, I kind of went to miss for a second now, but it's fine. Okay, um, so we still don't know if this thing's Cobra Cloak or not. It's really annoying. I just want to know if it's Cobra Cloak, man. <laughs> so I'm going to go into uh, Ampom again. I think I'm just click Fake Out again. Just whatever. But yeah, um, it's pretty awkward. How much is Drain Punch doing? Probably not much. I can set the terror real quick. Actually do that yet, obviously. Jam Punch doesn't look like it'll kill, really, or even be close is the problem. I'm gonna... Since they've just protected, I'm gonna do that, I think, yeah. Okay. Whatever. Let's just, let's just see how this goes, I guess. Really just a pain in the butt, this whole first game, I'm not gonna lie, but I guess... <laughs> You know what? We'll just finally just please. Okay, it's Cobra Cloak. Jesus Christ, that's what I wanted this whole time. That's good to know. It's fine. Okay. Of course. Man, that's nice to have actually. <laughs> I didn't even realize until now. But it is really annoying, yeah. Setup is basically unviable. Um, obviously, a lot of stuff to go for is annoying as well. Um, it is really annoying to see the Heavy Slam on the Golurk, because that means they can... How do we put this? I don't even know. Um, 
Sorry, I'm just falling apart right now. Um, they can hit crowd at all, which is really annoying. Um, theoretically speaking, they couldn't hit crowd at all, is what we prefer to see, but clearly that is not it. And uh, Polkagas is really annoying too because it reveals all my items, which I don't necessarily want to have happening here. Um, nothing too crazy. Yeah, I mean... Obviously that wasn't optimal or anything, but it wasn't the end of the world either. I can probably still come back from this. Um, the question is, how exactly? So we really do get locked into stuff really quickly with Belden, with uh, Ambipom 2, Manip gets locked immediately. Okay, so you gotta be really careful with what we're going through here. Encore, really kind of overlooked that. I mean, I, I knew it was an option, I just never realized how much it uh, countered some of my stuff here. <laughs> Which is just a, a treat, to say the least. Um, do we want to bring the Krag into this game? I'm not sure if I do or not. Oh, okay. Um, that's fine, I guess that's... What happened? I know it's still on. Okay. Um... I'm still online. Uh... So I guess I will search again, I don't know. Um, alright, whatever. Doesn't matter. Um, could have been a lot worse. Could have been way, way worse. Um. Let's hope that doesn't happen. Um, yeah. Alright, what was my train of thought here? It was... Are we bringing Krago or not? I'm not sure. Um. Heavy Slam is really annoying into the Clefable. That is true. <laughs> um, Samurai, I, if they don't have fighting stabs, I really don't think they do genuinely. I think that's pretty decent. Samurai's pretty good. Um, they can maybe do Samurai Kragal lead? That's not the worst thing in the world either, actually. Um, first of all, a test that they have fighting stab or not, which we don't know, obviously. Um, if they want to assume we're Sash, we'll at least be able to get an attack off with Kragal. Uh, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't hate that lead at all. Um, they can even do... Clayable on the back, just in case they do Dozo stuff, because we should always beat Dozo with Clayable, realistically. Um, that's not a guarantee, obviously, but let's hope that's the case. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna lock that in. If it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. Um, I do think this is a lot better into <laughs> Clayable, or uh, Runjigal stuff, but even then, it's not like that good, especially if the Rotom comes this game, obviously. Yeah. That's yeah, the biggest issue is your Cryogonal doesn't do much to Rotom. Actually, not much on my team does much to Rotom. I kind of knew it was a big threat going into it. But I also kind of had to concede that, you know, I, I'm not going to have a counter for everything. And of course, I didn't have any counters for Encore. Because, I, of course, I don't. <laughs> That's my bad, I think. But I don't think I would have seen it. No matter how many times I went over it, I think I, even with more prep time, I would have just looked over it every single time. Even though I knew it was an option. I knew they always could have clicked Encore, but... Okay, Don does it. Oh my, that's not too bad. Obviously, I'm not a huge fan of it, but okay. Um, that's something at least. Do we double protect here? No, I'm gonna double protect here. What should we to do with that? Probably not that much. Well, maybe we double protect. I'm gonna get a double protect. I'm thinking that's what I'm doing. Maybe my... well, we'll spend the time to calc. Um, Samurai. Oh, Obviously, Palmite kills, but that's not what we're here for. I'm kind of does a bit, actually. It's not too bad. Um, should probably kill after assuming chips. So I'm going to go for double protect here. Worst case, we start setting up with Dozo or something with Curse. I don't really want to get fake out of here, though. So I'm going to go for this. I'm going to go for, like, Electro Web or something. I can see that, maybe. I'm just going to attack and move as well. Um, yeah. Guess we'll see. I'm going for fake out. Okay, that's not bad. Uh, I'm, I'm okay with that, mostly. Um, it's not amazing, but whatever. What's the Dozo going for? Is the question. Wave Crash, okay. Yeah, okay, okay. That's pretty doable, actually. Um, this might be a speed tie, which is really annoying, but... I think we kind of have to go for it, <laughs> as much as it kind of sucks. Yeah, I think this is going to be a speed tie here. Um, we'll have to see that, really. Worst case scenario, what is it? They switched to... to, uh... Something right here? Okay, they... that's fine. 
playing with that. Yeah, okay. Sashed, obviously. Um. Oh, it's a friend's trap as well. That might be a guaranteed OKO if we hit Ice Wind. Hee <laughs> hee! Shouldn't have said that, but okay. That was a speed tie, which is kind of annoying. Wow, that hit a million! It's so much! Jesus! Alright, so we're probably guaranteed to kill here. Actually, that's not a question. Maybe we kill here. Yeah. The question is, are we gonna die to the wave crash? Most likely. I'd have to check the calc on that, but I don't think it's much of a roll. <laughs> we're not lucky to work at all. Yeah, okay. So if it's on a, if it's on, if it's on, if it's on, if it's on an offensive one, which... Not really even that offensive, by the way. It doesn't really even need to be that much. Um, we still have to deal with that, so that's fun. Um, the question is, are they just going to go straight into the obvious thing, which is the Giri, the Tatsu. You're going to Whimscott, okay, that, it makes sense, makes sense. Um, we know the Covert Cloaks, that's really annoying, but what are we going to do about it? <laughs> Go into the roll room here. Do we click Woodhammer into the Wimscott slot? I feel like we might want to. Um, how much is that doing? A lot, actually. That's really funny how much that does. Do we protect here? I feel like we protect here. And we just Woodhammer the Zagat. I'm gonna do that. How much are you gonna do to a... Well, assuming it's... I'm just gonna say it's max HP because I don't really wanna... Actually, do the calx out? It should do at least half. It isn't great, but I mean, what are you going to do? After that, we can switch into Clayable, safely-ish. Go for the Protect. They probably aren't protecting, if, if that's the case. The Dozo goes, that's awesome, depending on this, how this goes here. That's really good. Go for Dazzling Gleam? Okay, nice, 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 okay. Not perfect, not a perfect turn, but what are you going to do about it? We can't always get what we want. That's a lot, actually. That's a lot, a lot. Okay. I'm assuming it's more offensive than. It's <laughs> just great, it killed it. Oh my god. Okay, so it's probably offensive. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's an offensive Rems got then, because otherwise I don't think it would have died otherwise. That's pretty good to know, I'm not gonna lie. Um, Dondozo's leftovers obviously not really that surprising. Um, unfortunate crit, I, I understand completely. That's rough. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. So that's not too bad, actually. Um, obviously we're not a huge fan of it doing that, but what are you going to do about it? Kind of is where we're at right now. Do we want to cycle around and just let um, that thing go down? We might want to. I'm not sure. Do they outspeed? They should. Um, I'd have to check that one. So I am assuming unaware with Clayble, so it's most likely going to outspeed, yeah. Okay, that's fine. So do we go into this? I think we do. Yeah, I think we should. How much do we do with a Rillaboom Grassy Glide? Probably a lot. Either. Yeah, I'm gonna do that, I think. I'm not gonna think about it too much. I'm just gonna click Grassy Glide and we're gonna see what happens. At least a chunk. We're doing a chunk here. I'm not saying it's a lot, but... I said it was a lot before, now, but it's not really that much. But it should at least do a chunk here. Grassy Glide comes out. It does? Yeah, about what I was expecting. Um, Ice Fang comes out. That's pretty bad, I would even say. I would go as far as to call that not good. <laughs> um, but I think, technically speaking, we should always beat the Dozo realistically with this set. Unless they are the most offensive Dozo all time. Um, Clef should always beat this, but it is lefties, we already know, so even if it's adamant, like max bulk, even, like something crazy like that. Um, we should still be able to beat at least the Dozo. Obviously, I can't guarantee we're going to beat everything else on the team, but what are you going to do about it? <laughs> um, do click the attack here, or do we protect? Might just call the... This protect's really important. This is the game decider, I think. Um, this is the game decider, I think, just straight up. So I think I have to go for this, even though it may be the misplay. Oh, we have speed. Okay, that's really good. Yeah, we live that easily, even. I would go as far as to say. Took that like a champ. Um, and I don't think they're able to go for a move here. So I think we might be able to beat this thing. Let's see what Tatsugiri counts. 
Let's assume it's Sash for now, because we don't actually know what set is. Um, Claybull should take 30-ish percent from Sash Tatsugiri, which we can heal off. Hopefully it's not muddy water. I'm going to click this here, though. I'm assuming they're going to have speed here. Yeah, okay. So that does just take the same amount. Ouch, that did so much. Ow. This is really bad. I don't like this at all, but we gotta just got to work with it. Um, Moonlight comes out. How much are we going to take here is the question. Do we take two? I'm not sure if we take two is the problem. I'm going to Moonlight one more time, and I'm going to cry if we get an accuracy drop and lose, but also can't really be too mad about it, I think. No! Oh, wow, that's a crit. What? That's not a crit? Why did I do so much more that time? What? Hello? That did more that time. I swear it did. I swear that did more that time. That's crazy. Is this gonna bar is this gonna come down to a miss? I feel like it is. I feel like we Oko the Tatsu if it's No, I can't. No, I can't. I have to go to full. As much as I don't want to. Oh, this sucks. This sucks so much. I hate this. It does so much. It was almost 90, I think, is the problem. So I think we won't ever win this war here. I don't think we ever win this war. We have to wait for a miss. Which I don't know if it's, if it's coming or not. That's so much! We haven't gotten an accuracy drop yet, but I'm going to cry if we do. And I understand if it comes down to that. I understand, but... 184. Going down to what? Is the question. I think we have to risk it here. No, I don't want to. <laughs> 184 goes down to what? That's cr no, I don't care. Yeah, that's fine. That, that was bound to happen. 184 goes down to 90, so it is a roll, pretty much. We actually do heal from this, funnily enough, but it is really close. So I'm going to go for it. We kind of just have to. Surely they'll miss one, right? Like, come on. Surely they miss one here. Like, not me! <laughs> not me! The Tatsugiri! They're clicking muddy water. They have to click miss one. They have to guaranteed miss one. That's just how it works. Ow. That sucks. That sucks so much. You're kidding me, dude. This is awful. This is the worst case scenario, I think. This is so sad. The Clefable will beat the thing, the thing you're supposed to beat, and then she was supposed to beat, sorry. <laughs> Just missed one, thank you so much, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I can't do this, man, I can't do this. <laughs> so not okay, I have to miss, I hit two, I have to hit two, I have to hit two. At least two. Please, please, it'll be so funny. Please, God, this will be so funny. Please, God, this will be so funny. We miss another one. You're kidding me, dude. We have to go for a miss now. Because we guaranteed don't live another one. We have to go for a miss. Okay, so that's fun. Okay, that's one Muddy Water hit. We get a Moon Blast. What if this just Oko's? Doesn't, of course. Um, so now it's down to a miss. Um, yeah. <laughs> Please, God, this would be so funny. Please, God, this would be so funny. <laughs> You're kidding me, dude. That sucks. <laughs> that sucks so much. Man. I'm so sad about that. I hate Encore so much. <laughs> God, I hate Encore. I kind of just forgot that I had to be worried about the, the Tatsugiri. Um, that's kind of my fault, to be fair. Um, yeah, that sucks. Um, GG is still actually, that was a lot of fun, either way. But I, I, I do like the tech a lot of Unaware Clef beating Dondozo pretty handedly, but I will say that was pretty cutting it pretty close. Maybe so I did a lot more than I was expecting, honestly. Um, you know what? I kind of felt it. I kind of felt it in the air. Um, I don't think... I think I said it before, but I don't think more prep time would have helped, so I think it's fine. But man, I hate Encore. Man, I hate Encore. It's literally my fault, so I'm not like that mad about it, but it is just unfortunate. But yeah, I'm going to say GG's um, one last time. I think I'll call it there. Um, 
have a good day, everybody, and hopefully we'll be back next week with a good match. Instead, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, yep, see ya. Have a nice day.